Oh, happy 4th of July to all of you out there. Uh, I'm here to do a July message, actually, coming from Sophie. Um, uh, you know, I had give I shared some from Sophie, I'm sorry, from Light Has Come, the name of her newsletter. Uh, and I'm going to be sharing a message that she posted for July 2nd for the month of July. And so I'm going to go there now and share this message with you guys. Uh, I really think it would be a uh, very, uh, very, very, uh, timely to, sh to share it right now. Uh, I was up late last night and I didn't get a chance to really read it until now. So I'm going to be reading it to you. Um, and then I'm going to let you go for the day on um, hoping you guys have a safe, 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 4th of July, okay, because a lot going on, so put those angels in the trails wherever you're going. Make sure you don't go out of your house unless you know that you're sure know where you're going, okay, where the angels can follow you. So uh, I'm just going to read this word coming from Sophie right now. And so it says here, the, uh, here at the top here, as you can see it here now in front of me, uh, I want it to be your first love. I want it to be your first love uh, by M.S. Sophie for July 2nd, 2018. I want to say that I asked if he had anything to say to the public and Yeshua spoke to me. I had a hard time getting this on my computer. So obviously the enemy does not want you to know about what was given to me here. I can testify that his heart is beautiful. And his love is amazing. So please read the word from his heart to yours to help you see that he wants to be, he wants to free you. Okay. He wants to free you. Read the verses and then please listen to the song and read what comes up on the screen. He asked me to post that. So I am out of obedience. May it bless your heart and draw you near to his. Okay. She says, okay, let's go ahead and read this people. My child, write these words down to anyone who will pay attention at this point in time in July, in July, there will come a quickening of events. You will see that this world is changing and how darkness is increasing as the true hearts of men are exposed. This series of changes will be everything in the, you hear this people get it. This, these series of changes will be everything in the political arena to an escalation of random attacks, civil unrest, protest, man portraying man. This whole governmental system, as you children once knew it to be, will no longer be soon. You have gone along with their plans, believing it is for your own good and protection. You are willingly submitting to the, tri I never can say tronic, what is that, T-Y-R-A-N-N-I-C-A-L, um, submitting to the, the dictatorship. This is, not the, this is not the land of the free. Your enslavement was slowly introduced over time. Okay, she says, many are accepting this new way, new order, as a means of becoming their own gods. They take the chip willingly, believing the lie that is to make life easier. They take virtual reality and without first reading about the implications of this program and what they are really doing to man's mind. There are many ways to manipulate and command men's minds to do their commands. You have predictive programming, hypnosis, frequencies from 5G, MK Ultra, along with other mind-altering alter systems. You have pharmaceutical drugs they use in conjunction with therapeutic help. Therapeutic help. Children, there are many who work as servants to their Lucifer, and they are trained as handlers. You are seeing it now all the time, but most dismiss this as if it can't be possible. 
Children, trigger words are used, and you would be shocked to see how easy this is to do. Notice what these people are referred as, behavior, behavior, that's, that's true. Behavior therapists, psycholo psychologists, psychotherapists, psych psychiatrists. Notice what the drugs are called, psychotropic drugs. Do you see the recurring word psycho used? Doesn't this imply the name of the game they play on the minds of innocent people? Children, stop going to these, stop taking the drugs. I came down as a physician to heal the minds of, of men. This is this coming from Yeshua, people. Message from him, okay? Our king. Our Lord, our Lord. Oh, me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you for this message. I came down as a physician to heal the minds of men not destroy the minds of men. This psycho babble they push is making murderers out of perfectly normal children before they convince them something is wrong with them. How many have committed murder and suicides using Prozac, Prizil, Xfer, and countless other antidepressants? These never are the solution but are the problem. These never are the solution, but are the problem. Hallelujah. I am the solution. I am your healer, healer of your mind, body, and soul. Stop diving into things of the occult, which are these psycho babblers who insist they have the answers to what ails you. Stop going into yoga to find your spiritual center. Stop going to mediums and tarot card readers and mystics for answers. Oh, how many people out there do that stuff? Paying thousands of dollars to go to these people. Oh, my people. It's thousands of dollars. Mediums, tarot card readers. Oh, absolutely. And they, But they won't support God's people. They won't support. They can't send in a $10. They can't send in a 20 They can't support God's messengers out there. They can't support God's prophets and things of this nature. But they can go to these mediums and tarot card readers and astrologists and all these people and waste their money, wasting their money. And these people are liars and deceivers. Hallelujah. Oh, Sophie, you're so right. Yahweh's telling you right. So it says here, I am is your answer. Those who have come before me in brokenness and surrendered, I have healed. They no longer need therapists and pills and drugs of any kind. They have been healed from alcoholism, drug addictions, lust, and wounds deep in their souls. Even wounds they do not remember. I am all in all. You can be free so why do you insist on remaining in your crutches you call identity? Let me free you from the bondage Satan has you under. He has you seeking all forms of witchcraft. Oh, hallelujah. We pray for this every morning that no form of witchcraft come our way. No form of sorcery. No witchcraft. No. All oh, we pray about this every morning, people. Uh, come towards my people. Come across people watching my channel. Come cro across our ministry. So she's he's right. He has you seeking all forms of witchcraft, the Satan. Sorcery, which I hate, Yeshua says. How can you hear the voice of God when, when you are enslaved to your mind through the evil duels? Christ children... Children, she, he says, sorcery is sin. Witchcraft is sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you so much for your love. So you say, okay, how do I become free? You must repent sincerely. Open your heart to me. Allow me in. Accept me as Lord and Savior. You must surrender and admit you need me. Is that so hard to do? Surrender is not a burden. It is what frees the soul. It frees your heart of care and all the burdens of your life upon yourselves. Cast your cares at my feet. Talk to me as you were the best friend. I am for you, not against you. I see your pain. I feel your pain. I hold your tears. I cry over you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. What an awesome Yeshua we have, people. Why do you think I laid my life down for you, dying for you? I did freely to make a way for you when there was no way. I am your savior, deliverer, healer, brother, friend, lover of your soul. I, Yahshua, desire to fellowship with you alone. As one repents daily, another healing occurs. 
another weakness goes, another painful memory gone. It is a process and most have refused to let go. Children, why do you want to hold on to all the things in life that hurt you? Hallelujah. I asked that question. I don't even know why people want to be in this world. And we say here we are in the world, but not of the world. I don't understand it either. Father, I don't understand it. Why they can't cry out to you? I don't understand it either. Now time is so very short. More than anything, I wanted to heal you, show you just how much I have always loved you. I wanted only the best for your lives, but you settled to live under Satan's grasp believing man is the one to go to. How many years have you held onto your strongholds? You know, we, you know, some of us love it. We just like to hold on to these things. I want to let go of these things. I want Yeshua to be all of me, all of me, all my mind, my body, my soul to take all of me, Yeshua. Hallelujah. My all was not good enough. You children believe you can never be holy. Another lie from the enemy. You believe sin is acceptable in my eyes and all come into the kingdom. You believe one cannot be free from sin. It is true. One is a sinner born into sin, but through the gifts of my spirit, through repentance, there is daily cleansing. And those that have been through this understand and they start to hate sin. They long for holiness and purify a heart. You were created by me to have a clean heart to praise, to worship me, to acknowledge me, to live in obedience to all I command of you. I am the restorer. I am the repairer of the breach. I came to demonstrate how to walk and live. My heart has been broken to children by all the rejection when I, when all I ever wanted was your love. One can't say they love me yet live in sinful ways, mocking my sacrifice. To obey me is not a burden, not a chore. Obedience shows love for me, how I desire to be loved. The children of the world are in love with the world. I just said that, didn't I? We're in the world, but not of the world. Oh, hallelujah. Uninterested in my spiritual treasures matters. Who I am, but keep running to all forms of spiritual practices, which are abominations to me. You are seeking and looking for love in all the wrong venture, venture, ventures and places. Look up instead. Man cannot give you the love, the shalom I can give. I am the prince of peace, the light in the darkness, the lamp for your feet, the path to wholeness of being, the giver of breath, the love that never would fail you. You children are of the world in love with the world. Oh, hallelujah. Isn't that true? Isn't that so true, people? Time to come out of this world. I'm telling you, it's time to come out. Give it up. Surrender to this world and surrender to Yeshua. Give your life to Yeshua. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. I speak hearts to heart now, for I know soon many will forever fall away and be lost to Satan for all eternity. I know the beginning to end and end to beginning and what is coming. Soon my truth, my voice, they will silence. And if you are without me, you will not be able to endure. Last calls I will always give. And if only you had heard my warnings and heeded them to repent and return, then you will have no need to fear what is to befall this nation. I urge all to accept me now before all hell breaks loose on earth and it shall. Hear me now because children, you are living in the last times. Soon time will be no more. I have spoken so you would know how my heart was always for you, how my love was true. Oh, how I wanted to bless all of you. Sadness, woes, chaos, turmoil, evil plans come into fruitation. Oh, how I desired that you would love me, want to know me, and give your heart, soul, and mind to me. Hallelujah, hallelujah. What can I say? I gave my sin, I gave my all in all. I did all I could to win you back. As many will lay dying, cry out and repent, and I will still save you. My mercy is great, but my hand of correction will save many during the days of persecution. Tests, trials are all to bring you back to me, so you do not go to eternal torment, hell, Sad, sad, sad days on the horizon. Much mourning, much persecution, much evil is loosed on the earth. 
I have done all that I can. Now what is to be most now what is to be must be. I interceded on your behalf, pleaded for you to return, but it fell on deaf ears to most. I want all to know I truly love you. I want it to be your first love. Once again, the cry of my heart goes out to all before it is too late. Yeshua HaMashiach, given to Sophie on 7-2-2018. And 1 John 4, 8 says, He that loveth not, knoweth not God, but God is love. Greater have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Hallelujah. Uh, Jeremiah 31, 3, The Lord have appeared of old unto me, saying, Yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Therefore, with love, kindness have I drawn thee. And people, I'm going to uh, reach over here and grab my Bible. And I'm going to read just a few words coming from Romans second chapter that I was given last night. And I'm going to add it in this message because I'm telling you, uh, it's so important coming from Yeshua that we not to judge one another. We're to pray for one another and help one another. And it's, it came to me last night again. So I'm going to read it right now real quickly. You can get your Bibles and join me at Romans second chapter. I'm coming. I'm reading from the New King James Version here, and it says here in Romans uh, two, and I'm gonna start reading from the third verse. And it says here, "For what if some did not believe? Will their unbelief make the faithful of God without effect? Certainty not. Certainty not." Indeed, let God be true. Oh, I'm reading the wrong chapter. I'm sorry, people. I didn't think that ring off in my mind from last night. Okay, hold on. I'm on the wrong chapter. Uh, I was on chapter three. I'm going to chapter two. I'm sorry. I just didn't pay attention here. Uh, chapter two, I'm reading from uh, verse three. And do you think this, old man, you who judge those practicing such things and doing the same, that you will escape the judgment of God? Or do you despise the riches of his goodness, forbearance, and long-suffering, not knowing that the goodness of God leads you to repentance? But in accordance with your hardness and your impenitent heart, you are treasuring up for yourselves wrath in the day of wrath and revelation of the righteous judgment of God, who will render to each one according to his deeds eternal life to those who by patient continuance in doing good seek for glory, honor, and immortality. But to those who are self-seeking and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish on every soul of man who does evil of the Jew first and also of the Greek, but glory, honor, and peace to everyone who works what is good to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For there is no partiality with God. And now I'm just going to, that's where I'm going to stop there. Uh, read uh, those verses there from uh, 3 to 11. And I'm telling you people, we are not to judge. We will be judged by the same thing. And a lot of us doing the same thing that we judge and other people are doing. And I'm talking to myself as well, okay? We all need to understand how holy Yeshua is. And he expects us to be holy. He expects us to do the right thing. He expects us to pray for our neighbor, pray for our enemies, love those that say, and, and pray for those that do all manner of evil against you. He really wants us to pray for our enemies, people. Uh, so we need to understand judging. We are not to judge. He is the only one and true judge who's going to judge all people soon. And so we need to be giving our life to Yeshua HaMashiach today, people. I'm going to go. I ask that you have a wonderful fourth, uh, have a, a wonderful uh, time today uh, being protected from all harm and danger, putting angels in front of you. Uh, and as we go and, and celebrate this happy Independence Day, it, it may be happy for some, but may not be happy for others. But we know that time is flying by real quickly before us. So I'm asking that you people be safe today. Uh, Father, be with the people watching today. I ask that you put a prayer over them today. I just ask that you help them, Father. As you say, you are our first love. And you always wanted us to love you back in return, you Father. We just ask that your Holy Spirit cover the people today. We ask that they would... Uh, 
uh, just give their life to you if they haven't. Uh, we know time is running out, Yeshua. So we ask that your Holy Spirit come and be with all your people today. We bind Satan and all his evil angels below, beyond, beneath, mentioned and unmentioned, known and unknown. We bind all evil spirits on assignment against us in every way, Father. We ask that you loose your Holy Spirit to be in each and one of our lives today. And we thank you and we ask all these blessings in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So uh, I'm going to go now, people. You have a, a wonderful fourth, like I say, enjoy your day. Uh, my husband and I are going to be here quietly uh, doing, uh, just having a wonderful day to day together, uh, celebrating tomorrow our anniversary. So uh, if you don't see me tomorrow, I'll probably be out somewhere or doing some other things. But I all absolutely will come back and do something if it's an important time. Uh, so, you know, if something come on the news very urgently, I will try to come back and do a quick video. But I'm telling you guys to enjoy yourself. Uh, today and then watch yourself, watch your children, pray over your children. Uh, put those angels before you, before you go out today, people, please. Okay. So you guys have a wonderful fourth and we love you so much. Bye-bye. 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 Shalom. Shalom. Love you so much. Bye-bye.